Joe for jazbeeshobbylad.com. We did it. Break credit promo full. This was the last one that had to go. So 2015 Panini, Phoenix football, second half of the case. Pick your team four, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big, big thank you to the pumpkin. No, just kidding. Big thank you to these folks right here. Oh, thanks to the pumpkin as well. There it is. There we go. Here we are. Vip with the last spot, Mojo Redskins. And this is Pick Your Team 4 right there, so you know it comes from the same master case. So this break should take about 35 minutes or so. After this, we're going to do the uh, break credit promo. So everyone that was in a certain a certain amount of breaks, the, only those people in those breaks will be randomized to uh, to get this right here, to get into this. Uh, yes, you have you do have the Bengals, Josh. So there's four right here, and there's four back there. That's eight boxes. Thanks, everyone, and good, good luck. After this... Uh, we'll do the break credit promo. We'll do, we have a one box break of soccer by Panini that we're gonna do, and then uh, then maybe we'll close out the night with Diamond Icons baseball. Otherwise, we'll call the night and we'll reconvene tomorrow. All right, here we go. Box number one. Thanks very much, everyone. As everyone read in the item description, Vet Base does not ship. And we should know that by now. Those are what you should expect from each box. There's a lot of parallels in these sets, so I'll just be kind of breezing by those relatively quickly. And then we'll sleeve and top load those up later on. All the hits, of course, we'll sleeve and top load immediately. All right, good luck, everybody. Uh, Meng, who has the Packers, is saying, pull you an Aaron Rodgers, and it might just break your collarbone. He said that earlier. Man, poor Aaron Rodgers. I feel bad for that guy. It's been quite a day for, quite a sports day for me, folks, which makes it quite a day for me, folks. My Raiders improbably beating the Kansas City Chiefs tonight. That was a very odd finish. A lot of penalties, a lot of stuff. But, hey, the Raiders did it. In spite of Marshawn Lynch being ejected, disqualified from the game for grabbing a ref. It's going to be a suspension, I'm sure. Uh, and my Dodgers made it to the World Series for the first time since 1988. That makes me very happy. So there you go, folks. And there was, yep, there was the resurrection of, of Amari Cooper, says Nick T. There's CJ Beathard. There's Corey Davis. I'll be breezing past these pretty quickly. Jeremy McNichols to 99. Yeah, I can't believe can't believe there's D.D. Westbrook. And there's Deshaun Kaiser. Nice. He's back in a starting job, back with a starting job again. Jersey and auto, Deshaun Kaiser. Browns, Alex Castillo. Yeah, I knew listen, I Amari Cooper didn't suddenly become a bad receiver in the offseason. No, one, no one's going to regress that greatly. There was a lot of factors involved. 24 out of 75 on that one, Alex. Uh, but I'm glad to see him back on track this season. If the, Raiders can, if the Raiders can play like this each night, that's, that's going to be a lot of W's for them. You know? At a 299. Yeah, why aren't they trying out Kessler? Out of 49, Samaj P. Ryan. There's our Darius Stewart. That's for the Jets. That'll be for Mike Coons. The Jets, Jets, Jets. And that's 29 out of 79. Razul Douglas out of 299. There's Tom Brady out of 199. At a 149, Stephon Diggs. T's table reveals a Samaj P. Ryan. Last spot, Mojo Vic. Hot rookie. Samaj P. Ryan. 200 out of 299. 
Nice piece of the pigskin in there, too. There's Cam Newton to 199. Morton Anderson. Triumph and Tom Brady. I'm sure people make are making sets out of these out of 299. Big Ben. And Tim Williams. I mean, you would you would think with with Cleveland anyway, you would think like, hey, listen, you start you started with Deshaun Kaiser, you know, maybe it wasn't working out very well, at all, you know. Th then you start, uh, I forgot who Kevin Hogan. All right, fine, didn't work out, right? So why not try the other guy, Kessler? That's like your why go back to something that didn't work out? At least try Kessler for a game or two. What's the worst that could happen? You lose more? <laughs> Kevin Crouch giving me props on my P. Ryan call. I don't think it was that hot of a take, though, Kevin Crouch. <laughs> they were just like, Jay Gruden explicitly said, we're going to run. We're going to give P. Ryan the ball a lot more. <laughs> and I just said, okay. I believe Jay Gruden. But yeah, I, I started in, in some leagues, too, last week. So I was in some DraftKings leagues, so I was happy about that. All right, good luck, everybody. Second box, Jared Davis. I'm kind of losing my voice a little bit, folks. I can kind of feel it. So I'm not going to call out the numbers, but I'll leave it on the camera so you can see. It'll just help me with my voice. The Niners, there's CJ Beathard. And there's hot rookie, Corey Davis. Jersey, jersey out? No, that looks like a helmet. Looks like a piece of the helmet right there. Titans. DeGroosh. DeGroosh. I have to do that. Got to do that. Got to say DeGroosh. Four out of ten. Nice. Kurt. CJ Beathard. Ryan Switzer. And a D.D. Westbrook, Jersey and Auto. 282 out of 299 for the Jaguars. It's got the Jags in this one. EA, it's in the game. Nice, D.D. Westbrook. Aaron Donald. Power Surge. Eli. And a Panther, Christian McCaffrey. Three color patch. Five out of 25. Nice one for Carolina. Bulldog fan with that one. Solomon Thomas. I think that's numbered. This is numbered. Ryan Switzer, Joe Mixon, Dangerous, and that was that box. Next. Yeah, uh, Nick T Nick T was saying something about the the ruining of a player because you start him too early. I think I think there are there are two positions in professional sports where I think that can happen. I think that's definitely quarterback and a starting and a young starting pitcher. 
for the most part, I think like other positions are are less impacted by the idea of being started too early and your confidence being ruined. You know, generally speaking, pro athletes tend to be pretty confident people. But with a quarterback, if you start a young quarterback too early, it's not necessarily the QB. I don't think Deshaun Kaiser lacks confidence, you know what I mean, or will be ruined. But he'll be ruined in the sense that I think that other play, other teammates may not have confidence in him. Can he make the pass? Can he do this? You know, it's the self. The self confidence doesn't go anywhere for Deshaun Kaiser, but it's whether his his teammates will believe. You know, that that that's that's uh, that's where I agree with you, Nick T. Where, where, you know, that's where you could ruin a quarterback starting him too early. I I just don't think. You know, maybe it was premature. Maybe maybe. They were trying to catch lightning in a bottle, Curtis Samuel. And then, then I've heard people say, oh, well, man, imagine if, you know, I- imagine if uh, if Deshaun Watson went to, you know, imagine if Sha- Deshaun Watson went to uh, uh, Cleveland. And I was just like, what? No, Deshaun Watson, you know, is, is being successful in, in, in Cleveland. It just doesn't make sense. There's Curtis Samuel for Will. Well, David Carr, yeah, he was he was put on his butt a lot a lot of times in his first year in Houston. I mean, how often is Deshaun Kaiser getting sacked on plays where he's not uh, scrambling? There's Dalvin Cook. There's Matt Ryan. Nice Michael Strahan. And there's Return of the Mac, Marlon Mack. But, you know, with football, there's so many moving pieces on a football team. Like, you can't just be like, hey, you know, Kenny Galladay is going to be, you know, awesome because he just has individual speed and great hands and this and that. Joe Mixon can't do what Joe Mixon does without – you know, an offensive line. You know, you got to have the whole team that's clicked. You know what I mean? Samaj Piran. You know, with Samaj Piran, you get opportunity plus uh, plus a decent offensive line, a decent offense, a decent quarterback. Then you get production out of out of these guys. Look what you look what New England has done for years. They take no name running backs and just. Put them into a great system that works, a great offense that works. It's hard. It's harder for football players, I think, to to just have one person, one individual, sort of take over, you know, take over the game, just with their own physical. Like the last time I've seen a football player actually do that was probably Michael Vick. You know, a, a player that could literally change, like, t- could literally take over a game. If you want to take over a game. All right, sure. Bruce Smith could take over a game and sack a guy five times, right? But that doesn't that doesn't help on the uh, that doesn't help on offense, you know. But that's what makes that's what makes the sport great. As frustrating as the league can be sometimes, that is the core beauty of the game. <laughs> I know. I, I keep forgetting to add Mark Morrison to the playlist. At some point, I will have to. I honestly haven't changed the playlist. In like months, so I gotta, I gotta, act, I gotta just revamp the entire playlist at some point. In basketball, well, you, you only have five players on the team, fifteen men on a roster, right? You could you could find a transcendent player, a, a one person that could that could take over an entire game. You know, baseball is hard. There's just so many different moving parts of baseball. I got yeah I know I gotta switch up the playlist though, Josh I gotta I haven't switched it up in a long time although it is pretty good I think I did I think I did hit a sweet spot which is why I haven't changed it in a while but I feel like I I, I need to 
It's getting a little stale for me. All right, next box. Mitch Trubisky, let's see how he does. So he's been pressed into action. That's for the uh, Bears, of course, Eric Ange. There's Steve Forever Young, Jeremy Curley to 149. I think these are, these are not numbered. Marlon Humphrey out of 299. Taco Charlton out of 99. And there's some Buccaneers for Nino. Jeremy McNichols relic. <laughs> Add some Skilo on that. I've not listened to that song in ages. Maybe. Maybe we'll get that going. Out of 299, Jordan Willis. We have uh, Ankello, Akello Witherspoon out of 75. No relation to Reese. Maybe a relation to Reese. Emmett Smith, 299, Cardinals edition. What's this guy here? This dual, dual, re wow. Look at that patch. Evan Ingram, who's a big part of that Giants offense now. And OJ Howard, the juice, Buccaneers, with the Buccaneers logo right there. It's a, it's a card out of 30, and they give you that. That is nice. I wonder if that, I wonder if that was a mistake. I feel like that should, I, I feel like that should be in the one of one. Whatever. I'm not complaining. This will be a randomizer. Giants, that'll be Jason Lawner. And uh Buccaneers, that'll be Dino. That'll be a randomizer. We'll have the pumpkin hold on to it right there. Raiders. David and Yoku. If you heard that in the background, that's uh, that's the uh Raiders radio announcer. Two out of 75, Adrenaline Rush. The Danny Tomlinson, that's a good looking one. Josh Reynolds to 199. More. There's uh, Adrenaline Rush, Bo Jackson. Roger Staubach. And our Darius Stewart, 90 out of 99. Jersey and auto. For the uh, Jets, 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 Mike Hoots. And that's what I'm saying. What's what's a one of one then? Probably NFL Shields, actually, to be honest with you. There's Ken Anderson at a 299. And these are just base cards. Oh, that was the third one. I was like, where'd the third hit go? All right, good luck, everybody. We do have another Pick Your Team already available on jazpiecehobbyland.com. We'll break that tomorrow. Uh, if you're wondering what our schedule is going to be in about, what time? We're, this is, we're about 18 minutes into the break. We've got about another 15 minutes to go. So 15 minutes to go. And then after this, we'll do the uh, break credit promo. We'll do a quick one-box break of soccer. Uh, and hopefully we'll get that Diamond Icons random hit break number five from a fresh case. We can knock that out. And then we'll call it a night. If not, if we don't feel that by the time soccer ends, Panini Nobility Soccer, then we'll call it a night and we'll reconvene tomorrow. It's been a very busy day already, so we'll just, we'll, and we've got two more days to go, Friday and Saturday, so let's just take it easy and knock it out the next day. All right. We've got Kenny Galladay, Kenny G. Three color patch for the Lions. That'll be Philip. Joe, name me the most overrated QB in the league. Or the top three. Most currently? One out of 25. There's Kendall Beckwith. Yeah, not Jay Cutler. Yeah, he's he's just he's just bad. 299. Who is. No, Eli's just not very good either. You, it's got to be a QB that people rate high. You know what I mean? That's People already rate them high. 
you know, they already rate them high, but they're actually not that good. See, I don't think anyone rates Eli very high. <laughs> There's Kareem Hunt to 299. See, Winston's more of a hot take, EA. That's more of a hot take. Eli, I don't think it's a hot take. Joe, Fla ah, Joe Flacco could be an overrated zone, but Cam Newton, probably. But I think Cam Newton's actually kind of good, like legit, <laughs> if he's healthy. But maybe th people think he's maybe better than he is. But he's good, though. I'm not taking that away from Cam Newton. And his buddy Christian McCaffrey, jersey and autograph. I kind of like Matthew Stafford. That's a good one, man. 5 out of 25, C-Mac, 4 Bulldog fan. Nice. There's Amari Cooper actually catching the ball and doing fun stuff like this, running around for touchdowns and whatnot. Welcome back, Coop. Uh, <laughs> might be pretty good, Joe P. I I'm not going to tell you what to do on that one, man. That's, on that's up to you. D.D. Westbrook, Jersey Auto. I think Stafford is actually a good one. I think everyone expects Stafford to be a really great quarterback. And he puts up numbers, but is he a good quarterback, though? You know, hey, if he's down five touchdowns in the fourth quarter, you want Matthew Stafford on your team. For some reason, that's where he, that's where he performs. You know, <laughs> if you're down by, like, an impossible amount of touchdowns, you want Matthew Stafford there to just gunsling his way into somehow scoring six touchdowns and winning you that ball game. Somehow he does that, but why does he get himself into that position? <laughs> you know, him and the defense, I guess, but still. All right, three boxes to go. I don't know if... I don't know if Dak Prescott. It's hard to, it's hard to overrate. I think young quarterbacks like Wentz or Dak Prescott, just because I don't know if, you know, they're just still too young. You know, we don't know what you have in them. You know what I mean? So that's that's the thing. Cousins might be a little overrated, but I think Cousins still deserves like a, a decent deal though. From the Redskins or whoever, they just keep franchise tagging him and, and uh, jerking him around. But yeah, second or third year players, I usually tend not to really rate. I don't even know what they are yet. You know what I mean? And so much, so much depends on the team too. Who, who's who's around their team? Josh York saying Cousins underrated. You think Breeze is underrated too? Derek Carr might be might be a touch overrated. I like him though. He's gonna be fine. But people 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 I think see see too much of uh, another number four. Alright, there's Leonard Fournette. Oh, does Josh York have a hot take? He said he's going to say something blasphemous. There's Tyreek Hill out of 25. Nice one for the Chiefs. Out of 149. Whoa! Wow! Did not expect that. Juju Smith-Schuster, NFL Shield, and Autograph. Hot, hot, hot hit for Chris Wilson. Wow. Chris Wilson and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Abner, there he is. You're still up. Good. Still up to see this madness right here. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Set it right there next to the pumpkin. Set it right there next to the pumpkin. That's nice. There's Ty. Thank you, Hilton. Dd. I think that's numbered, right? 
out of 149. Man, what a hit. There's P. Ryan, Jersey and Auto for Vic and the Redskins. <laughs> NFL shields are always uh, are always great. You know what I mean? NFL, NFL shields, those never get old. One of one, Dan Marino. That doesn't get old. Miami Dolphins, train whistles don't get old. Sath with the Miami Dolphins. You get the Dan Marino Legacy, one of one. You got to start a rainbow now. It, you, you got a one of one. You got to go backwards. You got to start the rainbow now. Dan Marino all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. All right, so we'll set another one of one right there. There's Tyreek Hill at a 299. Aaron Donald, pink. C.J. Beathard for the Niners, the X-Line. There's Cam Newton at a 299. Jamal Adams and Calvin Johnson. Both numbered right there. Is that Calvin Johnson's jersey number? No, it's 67. Dang it. All right. Uh, sorry. So, Josh York. Sorry, we were interrupted by that NFL shield. Josh York had a semi-hot take, or was it a hot take? He says Tom Brady's overrated, but hear him out. He's saying Ryan Mallett looked great in New England, terrible elsewhere. Jimmy Garoppolo looks great in New England. Jacoby Brissett looks great. Matt Castle... So is he? So are you saying? So you're saying he's a system quarterback? There's nothing wrong with that. He still has to execute, right? I don't think that. I mean. I feel I feel like I feel like I feel like Tom Brady and uh, and Belichick seem to get a an equal amount of of love. Nobody is saying that 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 Tom Brady won in spite of Belichick. You know what I mean? Just using his natural quarterbacking ability. He's great. Tom Brady's great. And I'm saying this as as a Raider fan who who does not like the Patriots organization at all. Right, he wins, right. Does he need to have a wow moment? Because New York is saying, hey, he wins. He has the stats at the end of the game. But name me a wow moment for something he did, something that was just jaw-dropping. Yeah, I don't know. If I was a... Let's see. Let's apply that to Derek Carr. Do I want wow moments out of Derek Carr, or do I want Derek Carr to win like six Super Bowls? In in a, I don't know. I'm I'm okay with Derek Carr winning us boring Super Bowls. No, without without a wow performance. I'm okay with that. Out of seventy five, Fran Tarkenton. Christian McCaffrey, but I hear what you're saying, though. Yeah, I mean, if we're if we're if we're not if we get into the conversation of ranking, uh, you know, all time quarterbacks, you know, which includes not only statistics, but you want like just cultural impact as well. Yeah, you know, maybe. John Ross, Jersey Auto. Bangles. Yeah, maybe you do want a little flair from uh from your QB. You know, if we're gonna, if we're talking about that. I can see that. Michael 
Roberts, rookie rising Miles Garrett. He's looking pretty good. Leonard Fournette's looking great. Well, you don't think R. Joshua Dobbs could be the future after Big Ben? There he is. Ah, see? R. Joshua Dobbs is like, who, me? What about me? Three out of five on that R. Joshua Dobbs. Is that another trade whistle for you, Abner? Chris Wilson, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Nice. Right? Out of 149. I feel like you've had a good couple days, Abner. There's Peyton Manning out of 199. Mike Evans out of 299. Well, see, that's a difficulty. This is barbershop conversations. You know what I mean? How do you define best QB? You got to, first of all, you have to agree on criteria for from everybody. And so just agreeing upon criteria is, is different. And it really just ends up being an argument about what we value in specific positions. You know, 15 out of 79. Uh, Leonard Fournette, Jaguars, Eric Anch, EA Sports is in the game. Marcus Allen. So that's what makes that conversation difficult. It makes it fun. I enjoy it. But it makes it difficult. Because some people will be like, well, I don't care about pure talent. You know what I mean? I care about just straight up stats. Or some people will say, I care about stats, not pure talent. These are a one of ones thanks to this pumpkin right here. We gotta randomize this at the end. All right, last box. We made it. I think I I think I was spot on about the time as well. So we'll do. Uh, I gotta set up the break credit promo after this. It's gonna take a little bit to get everyone's names in order and all that. But once we're there, we'll get there. So Co Turtle saying overall career length and stats. I mean, if we go by that, then yeah, who played the longest? Who had the best? Who had the most yards or touchdowns or whatever. But, I mean, the argument for a guy you'd, you would rather put on the worst team in the league and believe that he would resurrect the worst team in the league. Exactly. So that, that's a different definition of, of uh, what you want in a quarterback. I don't know. It's, uh, it's an interesting question. I don't know if I have a... I, if I have a uh, I don't know know if I have a uh, an answer for that. All right. Last box. Good luck, everybody. There's Zay Jones for the Bills. Paul Harris. Delano Hill, 10 out of 10. Ryan Switzer, Rookie Rising, out of 49. LT, out of 75. Adrenaline Rush, Le'Veon Bell, not numbered. Adoree Jackson, out of 199. James Conner, out of 199. Jordan Lewis, out of 299. And there's Alvin Kamara. Jersey and auto. Nice. That goes to Jason Lawner at the Saints. 246 out of 299. Todd Gurley out of 149. There's Mac Attack. I can't believe the Raiders won today. Out of 199. There's Dalvin Cook. Jumbo jersey and autograph. Vikings. Ryan, ESPN kid with that one. Nice. At the very end, play to the whistle. I think that was the last hit of the of the break, too. Yeah, one, two, and three. There you go, see? You weren't worried, right? Of course not. You weren't worried. Out of 299. 
And the last bit right here should just be parallels. Got some randomizers to do at the end. There's Mariota, 299, Ryan Tannehill. Those are not. There it is, triumphant Tom Brady at a 299. My boy Tim Brown at a 99. Is that cunning after one? <laughs> yeah, Nick T. We'll do that. Coming up tomorrow. Coming up tomorrow, join us for Funniest X Quarterbacks. Only on jazbeeshobbyland.com. All right. That's it, folks. Thank you very much. We got a quick randomizer to do. So we got these nice one of ones right here. Always love one of ones. All right. So there is the dual relic, dual auto, Evan Ingram Giants. Evan Ingram Giants and uh, OJ Howard Buccaneers. So let's go back to random.org. Let's grab some dice. Let's go Giants. Let's go Bucks. And let's go roll dice. Five and a three, eight times for this list right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth. I said eight, right? Yeah, and eighth and final time stays with the Giants. That goes to Jason Lawner. There you go. Evan Ingram, Giants, OJ Howard, Buccaneers, 16 out of 30. And there you have it, folks. That was Pick Your Team number four from jazbeeshobbyland.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.